The content you are about to watch contains AI-generated voices of real-life individuals. The dialogue you hear in the video does not accurately represent the individuals depicted in the video. We hope you enjoy. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to Pokemon Coliseum. I can't wait to start playing this game, man. I'm so excited to start playing. Let's get this show on the road already, guys. Fuck yeah, I'm with Joey on this one. Start it up, Barry. Yeah, start it up. Hey, 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 take it easy, fellas. The game isn't going anywhere. I'm just as excited as much as you are to start up the game. I poured so many hours into this game. I remember doing competitive battles on this game between my dad and other siblings. Those were such great times. You guys looked through the Shadow Pokemon list, by the way, right? Yeah, I did. Uh-huh. All right, good. Let's discuss our team shortly. All right, so what kind of name should we use for our protagonist here, fellas? Why don't we name him Leo? I mean, Wes is his English localized name, I think. But he can also go by Leo, which I think is a pretty badass name. What do you think, guys? Leo does sound pretty badass, actually. I'm fine with our protagonist here being named Leo. Leo sounds fire to me. Let's go ahead and go with that. Well, since everybody is in agreement with the name Leo, then that's what we'll do. All right, let's get this game started. I've been pretty excited for us to start this series. I'm glad we're finally here. Oh, shit, I forgot this game had an intro cutscene thingy. You forget almost everything, Joe. I forgot what? It's nothing, Joey. Holy shit, he blew up part of their hideout, damn! That's some real nigga shit on God. This intro bank's so fucking hard, fellas, it's unreal. Oh my god, there he is. Hell yeah. Steal that shit, my boy. Spit your shit and let your nuts hang king. There ain't no way they're catching his ass. And then there's this bald fuck thinking he can stop us. Ha 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 ha. Dude needs a hair transplant. He's ugly as hell. There's our ride, boys. Let's blow this joint. Oh, Espe on an Umbreon. So cute. Catch us if you can, losers. Good luck catching us, fuckhead. Yes, yeah, see you never, ha 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 ha. Damn, and their base is in smithereens now, ha 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 ha. This is the most badass introduction for the player character I've ever seen in the Pokemon series, god damn. This guy can hang around my ranch whenever he wants, ha 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 ha. I'd share my ice cream with him, maybe. I've always thought this was such a cool location design for a shop. I mean, who would have thought about making a diner shop hybrid establishment out of an old locomotive? It's such a cool idea, and I feel like it's executed well here. Yeah, this place is pretty damn cool. I agree, Barry. This location is executed really well. I think it really fits with the whole rocky desert environment of the region. Reminds me of the kind of shit you would see in that one anime. It was called Trigun, I think. Oh, damn. You've watched Trigun, George? Oh, yeah, you bet. I watched Trigun Stampede last year, too. While I respect your guys' taste in anime, we should probably discuss what our team is going to be going forward in this playthrough. Donnie's right, guys. Speaking of that, can we please have Jumpluff on our team, pretty please? Why the hell do you want Jumpluff? Aren't there better mons you'd want on the team? Well, it's because it's so cute and cuddly. Plus, leech seed and stuff could be really useful. We would also have access to sleep powder, which will make catching these shadow Pokemon a lot easier, yeah? Ha 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 ha! Look at that! The news is reporting on our deeds, fellas. But speaking of team building, I think Joey makes a fair enough point, Donnie. Sleep Powder would honestly be so goaded for catching Shadow Pokemon. Not sure if you can argue against that, Donnie. Come on, give Jumpluff a chance, would you? Well, I guess Joey here does make a great point. Sleep Powder would make it easier to catch Shadow Pokemon if they're proven troublesome to catch. I don't see why we can't let them on the team in that case. Yay, thank you, Trumpy Wumpy. I guess we might as well talk to the patrons here. Maybe they'll have an item for us or something. Maybe. But speaking about team building, I think our first catchable shadow Pokemon will be a Makuhita. I think having a Hariyama on the team would be great for us. You can't go wrong with him. They can learn moves like Belly Drum, Fake Out, and even Earthquake and Rock Slide for coverage. How about we put Typhlosion on the team? While their type is Fire, they have a good special attack stat and can learn good fire moves like flamethrower and fire blast. 
which will prove useful for taking down grass, ice, bug, and steel types. I agree with Hariyama and Typhlosion joining our team comp. So now that makes it Umbreon, Espeon, Hariyama, Typhlosion, and Jumpluff. We're gonna need one more Mon to add to our roster. Didn't this pink-haired dude say he doubted that he could beat us? Why is he just challenging us all of a sudden then? Also, I can't really think of a Pokemon to add as our sixth right now. Sorry, boys. It's all good, Joey. We'll think of something soon, I'm sure. Oh, shit. He wants to battle. I'm sure we can handle it. It's only the first battle of the game, after all. I don't even remember what his team is in the beginning of the game, to be honest with you. This guy is a fucking doofus. You see that dialogue, boys? This pink-haired guy is a damn goofball. Ha 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 ha. But yeah, anyways, don't worry, Barry. I'm sure we've got this battle in the bag. Holy shit, this battle theme is giving me so much nostalgia, guys. Jesus Christ. This battle theme is top tier for sure. One of the best in the franchise, in my opinion. Oh, okay, so he's leading with two zigzagoons. His ass is cooked. You got this, Barry. I figured we wouldn't have anything to worry about for the first battle of the game. Also, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but I want to mention this so you guys know going forward for the rest of the series. Generation 3 handles physical and special stats with attacks differently than future generations. This is how it works. So fire, water, electric, grass, ice, psychic, dragon, and dark type moves scale off of special attack. And normal, fighting, poison, ground, flying, bug, rock, ghost, and steel scale off of physical attack. Okay, I see. So Hariyama will probably be our physical sweeper for the entire game, more than likely. Majority of his move pool are physical moves matching the physical typings for Generation 3, so we're golden with him. Jump Luff is a dual type Pokemon, being grass and flying. And I think their physical and special attack both have the same base stat, which gives it flexibility by allowing it to use physical and special moves, which I think is pretty damn sweet. We could roll with Sleep Powder, Mega or Giga Drain, Solar Beam, and Leech Seed. I think Hariyama and Jumpluff would make excellent team members. Typhlosion is still a pretty solid pick in my opinion, though. It has a good base special attack, so the fire moves it can learn will be very serviceable for the run, I think. Very solid picks, gentlemen. With that discussion out of the way, I think our five-man team so far is finalized, which leaves open a sixth spot to fill. We'll come back to that later, though. I will not get over how goofy this dude is, man. You need seasoning? Well, shit, I need more ice cream. The chocolate chocolate chip kind, mind you. God forbid Joey here sees a Vanalite. He'd probably try to eat it thinking it's actual ice cream. Ha 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 ha! I wouldn't put it past him. Oh, come on, you guys. I wouldn't ever harm a Pokemon in my life. Like, I'd never ever abuse them in any way, man. That's fucked up. What about a Gardevoir, Joey? Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Holy oh my shit, god. Joe, you damn goonhound, uh, stop! Oh, god damn it, Donnie! Oh, okay, shut the fuck he? up, Joe! I need okay, some you know what? Gardevoir fuck this! Boosie right now. All right, sleep for a while, you damn goon. Ha 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 ha! I wasn't expecting you to beat him over the head, Obama. Good work! Thank God that stopped for now. I have a funny feeling Joey is going to act like this throughout the playthrough. Oh look, it's those shady looking goons from that diner. Hey, what's in the bag, you damn low lives? You know, it wouldn't surprise me if evil organizations were smuggling in illegal substances for Pokemon growth and shit. Some kind of crack rare candy or whatever. Oh damn, look fellas. Somebody's in the bag. I forgot who it is, but we should save them, whoever they are. Don't worry, George. We'll rescue them for sure. We just gotta beat these motherfuckers' ass first. You bet your Johnny Test looking ass we heard you. Drop the bag and surrender, fuckers. Sorry, partner, but it's you who had the bad luck of running into us. Throw up your damn dukes and let's tussle this out, you fucking bastard. Dude looks like a mix of Johnny Test and Doflamingo from One Piece or something. I can see the resemblance, actually. All right, so this guy is leading with two Wismers. I think you got this battle handled, Barry. Yeah, no worries. I'll kick those little shits into the stratosphere. When do you guys think Joey is going to wake up? Who knows with him, honestly. Seems to me his wake-up times are purely random. Mm, uh-huh. What's going on? Are we at Donut King? Well, that was fast. Hey, Joey, how are you doing, buddy? And no, we're not at Donut King, man. We're in my vacation home, doofus. Oh, damn it, man. Oh, hey, we're playing Pokemon Coliseum. Oh, this is exciting. I love this game, man. Uh-huh, I'm sure you do. This guy is trying to set up with Howl on his Wizmer, even though it's going to die next turn. Hilarious. <laughs> hey, can't fault him for trying at least. Even though this battle is in vain, he should just admit his defeat already. I wonder when we can catch our first Shadow Pokemon. 
I don't really remember since it's been a long time since I played this game. Our first Shadow Pokemon isn't too far away, actually. I know we'll be able to snag one or two before the end of our trip here in Phoenix City. I should be wrapping up this battle here shortly. This guy is honestly pretty fucking easy. It helps that we've got a good special attacker early on. Yeah, this dude is actual fodder. Yeah, bite the shit out of them. And that's a wrap for this battle. Good job, Barry. You stomped the ever-living shit out of him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the difficulty is supposed to kick in at some point. This is the early game after all. You bet your ass we're tough. Now bow down and grovel at our fucking feet. Woohoo! Thanks for the money, loser. Y'all would be the most wild fucking Pokemon trainers to ever hit the Pokemon battling scene, I swear to God. People would have to call Officer Jenny on your asses. Hell yeah! We're an extraordinary trainer and don't you forget. And first of all, Barrack, Officer Jenny would be throwing it back when she finds out how great of a trainer I am. Yeah, me too. Oh man, she's so fucking bad. Oh my God. You two are such goon hounds, man. Hey man, at least I don't want to lay down pipe on a Pokemon unlike Joey here. Anyways, these guys are screwed. They're practically outnumbered, man. If I were them, I'd just get the hell out of there. I think we will be happy about beating your ass. Now be gone, shitheads. Ha 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 ha! Look at them run. Even the second guy didn't have the balls to battle us. What a coward. Well then, I guess we'll find out who they trapped in this bag. That's pretty fucked up that they were kidnapping somebody. I mean, those guys were seriously weird. Who knows what they were gonna do to them? Yeah, no kidding. Probably some vile shit, I'm sure. Well, we've saved them now, so that's all that matters. Now we need to find out just who the person that we saved is. Oh! Shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up Joe. Joe! Anyways, I'm pretty sure that's the girl who can see the aura of shadow Pokemon, right? That's correct, Barry. For some reason, she's able to see the aura of shadow Pokemon, but we can't. Interesting. Maybe she's the victim of experimentation? Or just some stroke of sheer luck and she was blessed with some sort of psychic ability to see things that others can't, like ghosts and shit? I think a psychic ability could definitely be the case, honestly. Oh, can we name her Noel? Please, with sprinkles on top? Well, shit, I don't see why not. Do you have any objections, boys? That's fine with me. I don't have an issue with it. Go right ahead. Well, there you have it, Joey. She's going to be named Noel. Yippee! Thank you, boys. Noel is such a pretty name for her. Just please refrain from being a goon hound for the rest of the episode, all right? Okay, I'll do my best, you guys. Right now marks the beginning of a brand new Joey. I wonder how long that's going to last. Ha 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 ha. I wonder that too. But anyways, have you guys seen some of the prices that old games go for online, man? Oh yeah, I do actually. I was researching on eBay yesterday because I was wondering how much Pokemon Box, Ruby, and Sapphire would cost. And the prices I saw for the United States release version are absolutely through the fucking roof, man. For the average person, that's such an absurd amount of money to pay for a simple Pokemon storaging game. What the fuck, man? Yeah, it's fucking bullshit if you ask me. I mean, all you got to do is break the region lock on your GameCube if you know how to do that. Though it doesn't seem all that complicated. But yeah, when you do that, you could just get the Japanese version of Pokemon Box, Ruby and Sapphire, and it's incredibly fucking cheaper. I honestly don't understand these people, man. Exactly, Joe. These resellers can seriously kiss my ass. Ooh, yes, we can escort you, pretty lady. Joey will protect you no matter what. I think it's more like we got a protector from you, Joey. We know how you can get around women and anything you find remotely fuckable. Oh, that's just nonsense, Don. This is the new Joe you're talking to. That old Joe is a thing of the past. I'm a changed man and strive to be a certified gentleman. Whatever you say, Joe. But yeah, now that we're able to explore Phoenix City freely now, I think we should take this chance to save our progress so we don't lose it. Good thinking, Barry. Uh, also, something I wanted to mention before was I actually really like the design of this city. It's really nice, and the city theme really fits the atmosphere the developers were going for with the city design. A city of flowing water. I agree with you on that, Don. This city does have a really pleasant feel to it. Same here. Since we're discussing Phoenix City right now, I think I'll pitch in my question for our viewers this week, fellas. Here's the question for all of you viewers out there. What is your favorite town or city in the Pokemon series and why? Please leave your answers in the comment section below. My favorite is Lavender Town from Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. 
While Lavender Town from Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire It is nice, I think the more joyful soundtrack for the town really shows that the town has grown from being a foreboding and eerie town to a much happier and joyful one. Holy shit, I forgot about this guy. This guy is probably the creepiest yet interesting designed character I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. But to answer your question, George, I think I'll have to go with Jubilife City from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. That city's soundtrack always sets me on a nostalgia trip, and I think the city is really nice to walk around in. I loved being there. Yeah, please leave us alone, you creepy fuck. Anyways, I really like Sutopolis City from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. I love the soundtrack and its little 8-bit jingles you hear throughout the song a lot. I've always found it interesting that the city was settled at the site of a meteorite crash. Who the hell is this big belly fuck? That's the mayor, Donnie. Come on, be more respectful, man. But yeah, I really like the Viridian City theme from Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I like the original from Leaf Green and Fire Red too, but it just sounds so much better in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Viridian City is also a really lovely city to me. Those are pretty great choices, fellas. That's awesome. Telling the mayor that you, quote, saw it isn't going to get us anywhere, lady. Speak up and talk with your chest. Hey, don't be so rude to her, Donnie. She's just trying to explain herself. I mean, to be fair, I think it would be a little difficult to explain something that others can't even see. She could be afraid of sounding crazy. Fair enough, I suppose. You want to know what's crazy? Putting pineapple on pizza, now that's a fucking crime. Oh, hell no, you take that back, Joe. Spit your shit, Joe. Pineapple on pizza sucks ass. It's all about that doughy, saucy, meaty flavor of pizza. Fuck that fruit-flavored pizza bullshit. I think pineapple on pizza is pretty good if you give it a chance. Thank you, George. Have you even tried pineapple on pizza, you two? Yes, I have, actually. It's really not that good, in my opinion. I think the fruity flavor changes the taste of the pizza way too much. I like the doughy, saucy, and meaty flavor that Donnie described. That's what makes a pizza for me, honestly. Facts, Joe. Well, we can just leave that be, I guess. Moving back to the game at hand, I'm hoping this mayor guy proves to be useful to us. He seems like a really nice and friendly guy. Ain't it kind of weird how that creepy looking dude we ran into before entering the mayor's house was here? I don't recall who that is, but he sure doesn't look friendly at all. It makes you wonder why he was even here in the first place. I was wondering the same thing, Joey. It doesn't seem like he had any business being here, let alone in the town itself. Something is definitely up, but I can't piece together what's going on quite yet. But something is definitely fishy here, that's for sure. Yeah, I agree. In any case, let's see if we can sign up for some battles, shall we? Well, damn. That's kind of unfortunate now, is it? Man, and I really wanted to do more battles, too. Oh, well, I guess. No point in sticking around here. Guess I'll explore more of the town. Oh, what the fuck? It's those bald losers from that hideout we blew up. Team Snag'em, was it? Yeah, you're right, Donnie. These guys are part of Team Snag'em. I remember them from the opening sequence of the game where we trashed their hideout. Oh yeah, those forgettable losers. Ha 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 I've been wondering, what the hell are those black things behind their heads? At first I thought that was their hair, but upon closer inspection it looks like some sort of headgear. Whatever it is, it looks fucking dumb anyways. I've always thought those were visors of some kind that you put over your eyes and they kind of just wore them that way whenever they didn't have them on. I don't know, but I agree, they look dumb as hell, Barry. Okay, we were part of Team Snag'em, my lady, but trust me, we aren't working with them anymore. We stole the snag machine so they couldn't use it for evil. Yeah, they're a bunch of lunatics if they think we're just gonna hand the snag machine over like that. Yeah, for real. I want them to stop all the talking so we can get to battling. I want to beat their ass so bad right now. Just bide your time, Barry. You know how these criminals are. They just want to keep rambling on and on. <laughs> Thanks for running your mouths, dorks. You should keep talking so we can learn some more information out of you. Man, this guy sure is pressed about being called a creep. I mean, he is being one after all. God damn, it's about time we got to the battling. Beat his ass, Barry. With pleasure, Joey, this guy's gonna get his shit rocked. These battle transitions are so cool, I love seeing them so much. Yeah, George, it's such a clean way to transition into a battle from the overworld. This game did that so damn well. A corfish and coughing, huh? Nothing Umbra and an Espeon can't handle. 
and I know just what to do against that coughing. I'm gonna have Espion snipe the shit out of them with confusion for a guaranteed kill. This is gonna sound really random, but have you guys wondered if all of the Nurse Joys have dementia or something? Just like Joey here? I mean, we can literally walk right into a Pokemon Center, have them heal our Pokemon and come back later to them saying the same old dialogue as if we didn't meet before. Donnie's onto something here, guys. Hey man, my dementia isn't that bad. But yeah, it is kind of weird how Nurse Joys don't recognize us after using their respective Pokemon centers thousands of times. They must definitely be worse than me. Nurse Joy has that super dementia for real. But anyways, I'm pretty sure this Corphish is fucking toast here. One confusion, and it'll be down for the count, and this battle will be over. Ha 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 ha! I love how it did so little damage to Espeon there. Go ahead, Barry. Put it out of its misery, and then we can beat this fool's ass. And now they're down for the count. Now let's beat this dude up and steal all of his money. I doubt this clown has that much money on him. I don't think Gonzat pays his goons like that, to be honest with you. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't pay his goons well, or at all for that matter. He's a slimy crime boss. I don't expect him to care for the people who work under him, to be quite honest with you, George. His name sounds fucking stupid. Who are you talking about, Donnie? Gonzap or Walkin here? Walkin. But to be honest, Gonzap does sound kind of stupid, too. Gonzap breaks into your house. What are you doing, Donnie? I'd roundhouse kick his ass, of course. Are you sure about that, Donnie? Gonzap looks built enough to fold your ass into a pretzel. All right, they had two other guys with them, and they didn't even come packing with Pokemon or wanted to fight us. What a bunch of pussies, man. But yeah, I don't think you're roundhouse kicking that dude, Donnie. You're gonna have to beat his ass in a Pokemon battle if you wanna fuck him up. You guys seriously doubt my strength, man, but sure, I could stomp him in a Pokemon battle for sure. Yes, my queen, I am your gallant prince who will let no harm come to you. Also, I'm pretty sure he'd flatten your ass like a pancake, Don. All right, whenever we come across Gonzep for a battle, I wanna be the one to face him. All right, boys? Be my guest. So we're taking turns like in the sunshine playthrough, right? How will that work for this series? So this is how it's gonna work, Joe. I'm playing for this episode currently. So next episode you'll play, then Donald will play in episode three, and then George will play in episode four. Oh, okay, sounds good. I do wonder how long this series will be compared to Sunshine. We'll just have to wait and see how those series pan out. Okay, this guy doesn't sell Pokeballs? The fuck? Oh boy, I think we may have a jump cut coming here. Perhaps that little lady knows where we can get Pokeballs? All right, Barry, try that lady in the back there. Of course they want you to talk to this fucking NPC. Well, that was only 10 minutes of running around. It could have been worse, Barry. At least we're back on track now. Yeah, you're right, George. Sorry for taking so long to figure this out, guys. I admit, I can be pretty dumb sometimes. We're all in the same boat, Barry. Honestly, talking to that lady was probably the last thing we'd think of. So you're not dumb, don't worry, man. Thank you, Joey. I appreciate that. Yeah, what Joey said. Also, uh, I'm guessing they're wanting us to stock up on some Pokeballs right now because we're gonna be catching our first Shadow Pokemon soon, I'm assuming. How much do you think we're gonna need to buy, boys? Well, he gives us a couple of free Pokeballs, if I recall. We could probably just roll with those. I'm not sure how much cash we've got right now, though. We could probably just buy five or 10 Pokeballs and go back to Phoenix City, right? That'll be decent for us for now, I think. Well, let's see what he's got in stock for now and take a look at what the prices are. If we got some money to spare, we can buy quite a bit off of him to last us a good while. Okay, five free Pokeballs? That's not bad, honestly. Yeah, that's pretty good to start with, but we should see what else he's got before we head back to Phoenix City, though. Oh, damn, he's selling great balls. I'll buy five of those and then buy 10 regular Pokeballs. That okay with you, fellas? Well, we've got the money for it. I don't see why not. Go right ahead, Barry. I guess you can never be too prepared. Plus, we can just make more money by fighting any trainers in town next episode, probably. Good point, Donnie. Anyways, I think that's all we need for now. Let's go ahead and bounce and head back to Phoenix City so we can continue the story and uh, hopefully get our first Shadow Pokemon before the end of the episode. By the way, Barry, how many names did we end up getting suggested on that one community post Sushim's made? I think we ended up getting over 30 name suggestions. Hot ah, damn, that's fucking awesome. As soon as Sushim's brought it to my attention, I made sure to add all of the names to a wheel picker thing I found online. So we'll spin that and see what we get when we catch our first shadow Pokemon. Excellent, thank you, George. Oh, those two creeps better not have returned. I guess they didn't learn their lesson when they got their ass handed to them by us. Well, that's our call to action, boys. Let's go to the mayor's house. I would assume he would be aware of them being in the city. 
I've got a good feeling that's where the bad guys would probably be. Yeah, go hit up the mayor's house. Who the fuck is this guy with the red and white afro? The fuck? Master, I guess that's their boss. He's certainly an odd looking fellow. Ha 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 ha. Well, he's right about those two goons being fucking pathetic. Fuck this flamboyant looking asshole. We're not infants. Yeah, our name is Leo, and we're gonna kick your disco dancing looking ass back to Mexico. Mexico doesn't exist in Pokemon, Joe. Damn, really? You're a fucking knucklehead, Joe, but you're our knucklehead. Hey, thanks, Donnie. Of course, man, it's the truth. Okay, let's be for real, though. Doesn't this Mirror B guy look fucking goofy or what? He actually looks like he belongs in a disco dance floor or something. Yeah, this villain design is totally out of left field. I really like him, though. He's different, and I think that's cool. Those Power Ranger looking guys are pretty cool looking, not gonna lie. Yeah, this game has really interesting designs for their characters for sure. I agree. Also, what the hell is this guy talking about? Wasn't he going to jump us with these Power Ranger looking motherfuckers? Why is he having those two goons try and defeat us? Wouldn't it be a guaranteed win for him if they all ganged up on us? Nah, hold on, what the fuck is that music? Okay, yeah, that was goofy as hell for a moment there. Not my fault your ass was caught off guard, loser. Come on and fight us if you've got what it takes. Yeah, this guy is just gonna get steamrolled again. I don't know why he's even bothering to try again after we bodied the shit out of him. Wismur and Lotad, huh? Yeah, I got this shit in the bag. Just sit back and watch this ass beating, boys. You know what would be a great idea, guys? If we did 1v1 battles against each other on this game, that's a pretty damn good idea, Joey. I think the viewers would enjoy that a lot. What do you think, Barry, George? That sounds sick, Donnie. I'm absolutely down for that. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea, Joey. I still have my old Game Boy, actually. After we beat the main story, we could probably post a couple of special episodes where we go up against each other. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see that, viewers. Oh boy, now I'm so excited for that. Don't you have a copy of Pokemon Emerald, Barry? Yes, I do, Donnie. That'll be the game we'll use as the second player. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure I've got some Pokemon ready to be used on that cartridge. Damn, they barely sap shit out of you. Ha 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 ha, right? That's how you know that Lotad is pretty weak. Next turn should be a wrap for this battle. Yeah, just one more use of bite and confusion and then it's all over for him. Yeah, this guy fucking sucks, honestly. And that's one Pokemon down. Something I've got to say about this game is how expressive the Pokemon are, man. Compared to newer gens, the animation here is so much better. I honestly miss the animated portraits of the Pokemon Black and White series. Black and White 1 and 2 had so much love poured into it. Those were such excellent games. You bet your ass those games were excellent, George, and that's a motherfucking fact. Can't say the same thing about this guy's battling skills, though. But yeah, those games were fucking goaded, and they still are. We will be doing a Pokemon Black and White randomizer eventually. Awesome, okay, so is the other guy gonna battle us this time or what? I would think so, considering his boss is expecting him to beat our ass this time. All right, looks like he is battling us this time. That's perfect. That means more XP for us, and money too. Duskull and Spinarak, eh? We can definitely handle that. Go get him, Barry. You got this, Barry. One confusion should be enough to one hit kill on that Spinarak, and then a bite on that Duskull should be enough to take it down. So he's got three Pokemon in total. I don't think we've got anything to worry about, fellas. These two mons will be easy pickings for Barry here. And that's one of their Pokemon down for the count. Good stuff, Barry. That bite should be a kill on that Duskull. I'd be surprised if that Duskull actually survived that bite from Umbreon. Oh shit, there they are, boys, our first shadow Pokemon. Hell yeah, and it's Makuhita too. All right, guys, we can't fumble this one. We've got to save that little guy and get him on the team. No worries, Joey, that's the plan. Holy shit, this Makuhita's got some guts to throw a punch at us like that. We need to get him. I hear you guys loud and clear. Don't worry, I will not fumble this catch. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to ask, but is Makuhita your favorite Pokemon, Donnie? Hmm, as far as Gen 3 goes, yeah, I'd say it's my favorite Pokemon if we're going by generation. If we're speaking favorite Pokemon in general, I'd have to say Ambipom. I like its design and I think it's pretty darn cool. I'm surprised Duskull survived on such low health. But then again, I don't think Umbreon is an offensive Pokemon by any means, so that probably explains it. 
Also, if we're talking favorite Pokemon, then my favorite Pokemon is Celebi. It's a cool legendary, and I find it cool that it's essentially a time traveler. Time travel is such a cool concept. I totally agree, George. Time travel is a pretty intriguing concept, honestly. Though my favorite Pokemon would have to be Lopunny. Pick a Pokemon, you don't want to fuck Joe. Okay, okay, sheesh. My real favorite Pokemon is Farfetch'd. I like that it walks around with a leak and uses it as a weapon. I think it's really cool. Damn, I gotta be careful of Vital Throw. Yeah, that was good damage on Makuhita's part. But yeah, that's a lot better, Joey. Farfetch'd is pretty cool. I gotta be really careful not to kill Makuhita here. But um, my favorite Pokemon is Cacturn. I've always found its design to be pretty cool. I enjoy using it whenever I feel like doing new playthroughs of Pokemon Emerald sometimes. All right, pretty base choices, fellas. Hopefully this bite doesn't kill Makuhita here. It shouldn't, at least. All right, that should be low enough for it to be caught, Barry. I'd give catching it a shot right now if I were you. Damn, hang in there, Umbrian. Barry's about to catch this guy, so we'll stop hurting you, we promise. Hell yeah, watch this guaranteed capture, boys. I'm whipping out the good old great ball so he won't struggle against being caught. I'm pretty sure that's good enough for a capture. His base catch rate is good, if I recall. Uh, I think I'll just stall with Espeon. All right, this is the moment of truth, gentlemen. One, One two, two, three. Oh, yeah, baby. Fuck yeah, boys, let's go. Good shit, Obama. Fuck yeah, our first shadow Pokemon. Yeah, eat my ass, Trudley. You fucking suck. Quit Pokemon battling forever, bozo. Boo-hoo, loser. We'll treat this Pokemon right, unlike you. Yeah, and give us your cash, too, shithead. Heck yeah, we did. Go home and cry about it to Mirror B for all we care. Yeah, go ahead and bask in our glory. We shine brighter than any star in the sky. <laughs> yeah, run away. Next time we run into you bums, you better be trying to work honestly and treat people with respect and kindness, or else. Now that those goons are gone, how about we check out that Makuhita we just snagged? Oh yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Damn, it doesn't have the guts ability. Though Thick Fat works well too, the stats aren't that bad either. Thick Fat will help against ice and fire type attacks at least. Oh yeah, what are we gonna name our three Pokemon, Barry? I'm glad you asked, George. Let's pull out the good old wheel picker you made for us. All right, this name will be for Espion. All right, Espion will be named Aurora. Thank you, Soulbender, for suggesting the name for us. Now for Umbreon. Umbreon, Barry. My bad, Donnie. But yeah, Umbreon will be named Scrungle. Thank you, Girthquake2390, for the name suggestion. Now for Makuhita. Makuhita's name will be Queso. Thank you, Cool CW4BG, for the name suggestion. Queso is kind of fitting for Hariyama, I think. <laughs> I agree with you, Joe. That is pretty funny when you think about it, actually. But yeah, I'm afraid this is where the episode will come to a close, viewers. If you enjoyed this episode and want to stay in the loop for more content, consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe even leave a like and comment for us to read. Oh, we love reading your comments. Make sure to keep yourself safe. It'd be a shame if we couldn't see you guys in the comment section anymore. We'll be seeing you guys next week. We hope you guys have a damn good one. And with that, the presidents are now signing out. See you later, guys.